Hi, my beautiful Pisces. What's up, you guys? It's Jessica, and it's Trusting True Tarot. Thank you guys so much for all your love and support to the channel. Anything you need to know is in the description box below. I also have a second channel. It's TTT Intuitive, where I do pick a card reading. So if you are into that type of thing, go ahead and check that out. It's in the description box below. And thank you guys so much for purchasing a personal reading with me and trusting me with your truth. This is a daily reading. This could be happening a couple of days in advance or a couple of days behind. Hopefully you hear this message when you're intended to and it helps and assists you in some way. Go ahead and hit that like button. Let's get into this Pisces, okay? So my beautiful, beautiful Pisces, what I'm seeing here is that you are feeling this strong urge and desire to say something, to rush in and have a conversation uh, with someone. And you may have not been talking to that person. You may have been keeping to yourself. You may have not been communicating with that person. That's what I'm seeing. So you've been silent. You've been staying to yourself. And it's crazy because I feel like this with this person here, they're playing this little violin here. So there's an energy of you kind of serenading this person in your own way. So I feel like by you doing this, I don't know why I'm just getting this energy where you're, you're also maybe manifesting this person in some way um, by keeping something. It's almost like by not saying anything to this person. That's weird. Um, for some of you, I don't know why I feel strongly that I don't feel like you're purposely manifesting this person. I feel like this person is manifesting you. <laughs> that's so, so crazy. There's somebody that's, whoever's coming towards you, they're manifesting you. There may be scripting, writing. Um, so there may be some type of scripting here where you see in this magician, this person could be scripting or writing something here in their life or writing something about you or just writing their strongest desires, their desire to no longer be single. There, there's, there, there, there's someone scripting, someone's manifesting you, right? Manifesting, scripting something here that they desire, they want, um, maybe even, you know, wanting to say something to you. But for some of you guys, that's what I'm seeing. Like someone's manifesting you and I feel like you're manifesting this person, um, um, but knowingly, like you're not really knowing that you're doing this. Yeah, because <laughs> you're not really talking to this person. Um, you're indecisive if you want to have communication with this person, but then you also feel this strong urge and strong desire that comes out of nowhere. And it's very burning to say something, to have a conversation with this person, right? Um, and I feel like you've also made this head over heart decision uh, to kind of, you know, you made a head over heart decision about this person. And what's going on is that I feel like you made a decision to follow your head instead of your heart when it comes to this person. That's what's going on here. So some of you guys will know your heart could be telling you one thing about this person, your feelings or emotions, but you decided to trust your logic, to trust your mind, to follow, you know what I'm saying, reasons and logic here. Uh, and, and so that you don't have another heartbreak, so that you don't break your own heart, so, don't, so that you don't cause your own self any suffering or any more pain. So you made some type of head over heart decision. That's what's going on. And because you did that, you've been indecisive about actually having communication with this person. But again, you guys are silently manifesting this person in your own way, in your own way, you're serenading this person. Okay. Now, whoever's coming towards you, I don't know why I feel strong Libra energy, but it could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, could be Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, or any other sign. Um, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer, again, that Libra is sticking out strongly, um, uh, maybe an Aries or a Taurus, but this is, what I, this is what I'm picking up. But I do feel like whoever's coming towards you, they're manifesting you. Um, they're manifesting a conversation with you. They may even be thinking about conversating with you so much to the point where they're manifesting it. Again, there's an energy of someone unbeknown like unbeknowingly doing this. So I kind of really feel like this person is manifesting having a conversation with you. Or they they want to manifest you talking to them again because they don't want to be they may not want to be single from you or they're feeling insecure about you. Because you're not saying anything to them. 
But either way, I do feel like this person wants to bring about some type of balance in your life. Like they want to make something right. They want to be fair to you. They may even want to have an opportunity to clear the air with you or bring some type of clarity or understanding to you in regards to a situation. But yeah, this is what I'm saying. They do want to manifest an opportunity here with you. And Spirit is saying as the advice, Pisces, they really want you to give this person this opportunity to make this right. So that's what Spirit is saying. Spirit is saying they want you to give this person an opportunity to make this right, to make this you know, situation right with you, okay? To bring fairness to you, to bring balance to you, okay, in some way. 